is speeded up and it's all of a sudden. All of a sudden you've got two million people without places to live and extra people dead and dying and all kinds of problems and government can't really do very much. They're kind of stuck with doing it themselves. And of course if the news was really telling the stories about these tent cities, they'd tell a lot of stories about how people are actually getting down and figuring out how to help each other. Now that's an event which in which the kind of chaos that we're having in the United States with regard to people losing their homes to foreclosure and their jobs and all the chaos that goes with that. The earthquake in Haiti is kind of a speed it up thing. It happened all at once because the nature came in and went, <laughs> blew everything up. You know? Or in the case of the economic collapse in America, it was sort of human nature came in and greed and other stuff and that blew everything up, but the blowing up was slower. And of course, some people think, well, <laughs> the banks are back together. Well, the banks aren't back together. They're not doing anything that they were paid to do. We gave them all this money at the beginning of this, and my gosh, are they lending money? No. Are they back to the same stuff? Oh, yes, they're looking for get rich way, ways to get rich, ways to get bonuses, ways to do all kinds of things, but help the ordinary guy who doesn't have a job and is losing his home and his family is under stress, and there's more suicides, and there's more beating up, and there's more teenagers getting into drugs, you know, and there's all this social debris that every that is going on, and nobody's doing a goddamn thing from the top because the top doesn't function anymore. Only at the bottom, down where ordinary people are, are we going to solve these problems. And we're not going to solve them by marching on Washington, we're not going to solve them by attacking the Democrats or the Republicans and saying, shame, 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 it's all your fault. Shame, 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 it's all your fault. There's an interesting book that I read. It's called Rising Sun. Yes, Shuhan, I think. And it was a book by Michael Crichton, and it was about uh, certain things that went on in uh, uh, my goodness, I'm way running over time here. That doesn't make sense. Well, uh, I'm just going to tell the story and maybe have to break this video up into two pieces. Anyway, in Rising Sun, this really interesting thing happens. Uh, 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 oh, there's a murder, and it takes place in a high-rise building being built by the Japanese in Los Angeles. And a certain individual is called out of semi-retirement. And in the, in the movie that was made of this, it was the charge Sean Connery and Wesley Snipes played the detective that had to work with him. But anyway, the, the Sean Connery character, or the character in the novel, is uh, spent a lot of time living in Japan and understands how the Japanese think. At least that's the way Michael Crichton wrote it. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. But anyway, there's this dialogue between the two of them. Uh, between the... Uh, guy who knows the Japanese character better and the, and the guy who's the Los Angeles cop and they're getting ready to, to, to work on uh, this problem with the murder. And the uh, guy who knows the Japanese says, said, well, over there, what they do is they try to fix the problem, not fix the blame. Over here, we're very involved in fixing the blame. We want to run around and say, they did it or they did it, or I didn't do it, it's the other guy that did it. You know, and all that energy is wasted energy because while you're doing the blame game, or while you're ducking blame, or while you're stonewalling, or while you're doing all the other things by which you just don't, you know, take responsibility for anything, the problem doesn't get fixed. And that's the situation we're going to be in here with this economic stuff. With these people without jobs and these people losing their homes and being sort of stuck together. If you're out there and if you get this video and you're involved with people who are losing their jobs and losing their homes, they need to get together and they need to figure out how they can help each other. Now, what's something that can happen? Because not everybody's losing their job and not everybody's losing their home. Well, there's stuff that you can find out on the internet that's pretty widespread. And this is called microloans. 
And it's just a good example of something that can be done. It's not the only thing that can be done, but it's a good example. Of it. And this is where somebody who has a little bit of cash loans that to somebody else who can start a business with a little bit of cash. So let's say you're living in, in Dallas and you're a group of people that are trying to deal with with the fact that a bunch of people don't have homes and they're living in, in bad places and they don't have work and da-da-da. And you're one of the people that's got a little bit of money and you say, well, look, tell you what. Come to me with a proposal about how you might make some money and uh, maybe I can give you a microloan. And somebody comes along a couple days later and says, well, Here's what I can do. I have in my storage unit that I bought where I'm barely paying the, the upkeep on that and I sometimes have to live there. But anyway, I have this stuff and I can basically make a, a food cart. Yeah, I'm listening. Okay, go ahead. And I can make a food cart. And I have a friend out in the edge of the city that I can bicycle out to him or I can drive out to him with my cars running and I can get from him some fresh chickens every day. And I can cook those chickens and I can take my food cart and I can come down to such and such place in town and I can have a little food cart and I can sell food. Now this is a very common thing that happens in the, in the places in the world that we never get to, you know, that already have disturbed economies. But there are all kinds of things that people are going to need. They need to eat and they need food that's cheap and they need it well prepared and they don't need it gussied up like in a big fancy restaurant, they just need something to eat that's warm that day. So somebody can get together and they can produce a, f a food cart and they can make some food. And if the city will get out of the way and not hassle people solving problems this way, then maybe some stuff can get done. But I pretty much guarantee you, if people start talking to each other and start getting together with the idea that, uh, well, we can do something that's uh, important, we can do something that's uh, helpful. I can sit down with other people and I can think, how can I help you? And they can sit down with me and they can think, how can I help you? And between the two of us and the five of us and the ten of us, we might be able to accomplish something that I can't do alone. If I'm wandering around this city banging on doors trying to get a job and going home to my wife and the little money I have, I stop at the liquor store and I get you know, a pint, and I come home and I get drunk, and then I yell at her and the kids and start throwing things because I'm so unhappy with myself. Well, that's pretty destructive. That's not going to get anywhere. But we can help each other. It's there. The wisdom is there. The wisdom is distributed. The wisdom is in the present. Americans are can-do people. Americans do solve problems. The government doesn't work. In fact, the best thing government could do if it really wanted to help us is to get out of the fucking way and let us get on with solving these problems ourselves. When people are finding solutions to things at the bottom end of the structure, you know, the top doesn't work, isn't helping, da-da-da, all it's going to do is make promises and argue amongst itself. But down here at the bottom, where people got to do stuff, instead of getting into that argument as if we're going to get the top to work, we talk to each other, we work with each other, we make that work. You'd be surprised just exactly what can happen when we make that work. Now, sorry this video ran on a little longer than usual and I'm going to have to div have divided it up, but uh, that's life.